All right, so our Android Studio is done loading, and the next thing we need to do is to open what? Our PS Store e comment mobile app, and then we start building our app. So I'll go to um, open an existing Android Studio project, and then I'll navigate down to my pictures folder because that is where I extracted what? PS Store e comment mobile app source code into. So I'll go down to Avenash, then I'll look for pictures, then I'll come down to PS2 store, then I'll come to mobile source code, and I have PS store here. So I'll hit on it, and then click on open. And that is going to open the source code in Android Studio. So let's give it some few minutes, and then our source code will be open. So you can close this, don't show this for now. So now, we are going to give you some time for PS Store to sync our Android Studio and then connect all dependencies, iterate, and then we can start building what our app. We learn how to add what our base URL and then we start building the app. So I'm just going to go straight forward to teach you how to add the base URL and then build what Android Studio. And later on, we'll learn how to add rename package. And then we'll also learn how to add them um, Google Accents to your app, and then we'll also learn how to change what the JSON file in need to as well to match with what your package name to as well. All these things must be done, but for now, I'm just going to show you how to fix some um, your base URL, where to locate your base URL, and add it and build it with the default settings that um, the app has come with and after that we start learning how to change the various things naming um renaming package names and other things and so forth and so on so let's give you some few minutes to think and after that i will be back for us to uh, enter that so it is done um um, um syncing the file successfully there are no errors there are no problems with it so now what we need to do is that the first thing we need to do is that we need to open the app folder and then we'll go to um, the Java folder. Then from the Java folder, then we come to our package name, which is um, com dot, what we have here, dot this to as well. So I'll open that. And then I'll come to my config file, which I have under my package name. When I open that, then we have our app URL here, where you can fix your app URL. So our app URL is what? Um, psstore.thevirussystem.com so everything here i'm going to clear everything away and then replace it with the virus system.com so the same way um sorry it's supposed to be psstore.thevirussystem.com so let me correct that psstore dot the virus system dot com then also this ps store dot the virus system dot com then we are done we can close this file now the next thing we need to do is to change what our app name app name so how do we change our app name we change our app name by coming to res and then we go down to um, values and then from values we come down to strings and then from strings we open the strings.xml file then here we look for our app name app name and this is our app name ps store so i'm going to change this app name to any name that i want so i'm going to make it dvs which is the virus system store so that is what i have for now then i also close that so these are the only things that i need to do before i start building what my app now is the default icons is the default colors and everything and so forth with the um, default what json um, color um, file and so forth and so on so i'm just going to build so now i'm ready to build i can build this and later on we do the tutorial based on how to change what your package name and then how to add other things into it as well. So now let's go ahead and then we build what our app from there. So I'll scroll back up 
So now after scrolling back up, what we need to do is that we need to rebuild our app before we build it up finally. So I will click on rebuild project and then that is going to rebuild my project. And then if everything goes on successfully, then boom, we build what? Our app and then we are done with that. So let's give you some few minutes for it to do the chiri chiri chara chara and then we get back to what building what? Our app. All right, so our project has finished building and there are two errors, but still our project is able to what, complete successfully. So there's no problem with that. We can build our app later on. We look at those things and chiri chiri chara chara. So we'll go to build and then we'll come to um, build what bundle stroke what APK, which is what Android extension. So let's build what our APK file, which we can use to install on what our mobile phone. So build APK file and then building has started. So let's also give you some time to build it up. And after that, we copy it onto our cell phone and then we'll also follow the installation process and see whether this will connect to our back end to pull the database in it or not. So let's give it some few minutes and I will be right back when it finished what building this app. All right, so our app is done building. So let's come to um, complete app generation successfully. Then we we'll click on locate what our app um, APK file, then we'll copy it onto our phone. So now this is what I have. This is the app, the APK um, file that um, Android Studio is able to build. So I'm going to rename it to something. Uh, I can identify DVS store. I'm sorry. Store. Then I'm going to connect my phone to uh, my computer and transfer the file into it. So let's wait for a minute. So I'm connecting my phone to my computer. So my phone is installing. Let's give it some few seconds. All right, so my Infinix phone has connected successfully. And then what I'll do is that I'll drag PS Store onto uh, my phone storage. And it is done what is um, transferring the file onto my mobile phone. So now we are going to switch to my mobile phone so that we can do the installation on my mobile phone. So let's switch back to um, my mobile phone. 